Okay, do you think people have misconceptions about the team? Uh, yes. No doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. There are so many misconceptions about the team. First of all, they think we suck. And they think we're not athletic. We're I athletic. Suck. I'm athletic as hell. <laughs> I mean, that, that was pretty athletic. athletic. That was... No, you're not. I'm pretty athletic. I'm not athletic. So I'm not athletic. You, you, know, you guys are not athletic. You guys are not athletic. That's because you're not athletic. You're not athletic. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you're you're not athletic. 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 Athleticism comes in comes in a trio right here. I have CSC. CSC. Because I'm in the trenches. Yeah, yeah. I have toughness. You're blocking my camera. I have, tough, I have toughness. Throw your hands in the air if you're real as me. Woo! our boss's car and there's a box like a like a big like UPS box and it says like height weight girth and we thought that was like the funniest thing and so like for the rest of the like the like for the rest of the season of the rest of work you know for the rest of the summer all like that was just the word to say and then I ended up saying it during football practice and then and then Mike Carter just thought it was like the funniest thing in the entire world and, and born was the gar. So, you might be wondering why I'm making a documentary about the football team. And to be honest, I don't really know. He is a bully to Kenyatta. Anyone who sees Sean bullying Kenyatta, tell him to stop and punch him in his neck. Well, he might punch him. He's yeah, going to punch him back. I'm going to kick you before he goes uh, Yeah. But I wanted to find out, you know, like, why do they form this lasting bond? Like, why are they sitting together in the cafeteria months after the season's over. Past preseason, uh, Coach Sane made us do all these exercises shirtless. And, you know, I, Hannah, I know, you, I know that's what you wanted to say, but... Well, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, you know what, too bad, uh, it's too late, but so... Darn. We... One second, they're just messing around, making some joke about, like, butt cracks or whatever. We just have our team dinners, which is like the night before our home games, yeah, yeah. Uh, which so we call them Powerball. Uh, you know, it's meatball subs, and they're known to cause a lot of bowel movements. Um, so that's usually a tradition, like, who, you know, we post on the group as soon as you get home, so who's pooped already? But then when you least expect it, they're this family, and the experiences they share, it's like, it's like they've known each other forever. I don't know, it's just, it's something about the sport that just makes it such a close-knit, like, like family almost. But something tells me there's something more there, you know. They're not just the team with all the inside jokes, the team that is always embarrassing themselves and not caring when other people are looking at them funny. I think I coined the nickname Treat. I started calling him Treat because he was sort of shorter. Like his last name was Ray Lee, so it was like T Rate and then it turned into Trade. And so then from there everything is possible. We we got into Trade Train the refrigeration machine. There was endless opportunities. So in terms of in terms of me, I like poking fun of Taylor because he's like a brother to me. And maybe they don't win as much as the soccer team, but maybe that's not what matters because when I ask them if there are misconceptions about the team, they seem to realize that people don't see them the way they see themselves. But they don't really care. Locker room's really, really fun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sure, when you're changing, sometimes you might get smacked by a belt, yeah. but overall it's good. That sounds really scary, actually, That to me. I mean, it's thrilling. They're ridiculous, though. Maybe I'm looking too deeply into it. People would, like, kind of get tired and stuff. And, yeah, and to Tucker, wake them up, Tucker would, Tucker uh, would uh, just, just uh, slap you in the tush. In the tush. Really? And not, not like, no, like, oh, let's go. Like, yeah, oh, let's and go, let's go, let's go. up. I started, like, to, I started to think that he liked it, you know, because <laughs> he kept doing it so much. Well, who washed Washington's white woolen underwear when Washington's washerwoman went west? You're saying you like went west. It's, who washed Washington's white woolen underwear when Washington's washerwoman went west? It's went like, west. Went west. Went yeah. west. Let's go. Could you introduce yourselves, please? I'm Connor Finn. I'm a captain of the varsity soccer team here at Friends. I'm Cedric Charlier. I'm also a captain of the varsity soccer team here at Friends. I'm Ben Muzakio. I'm the captain of the varsity <laughs> soccer team here at Friends. Um, okay, so I'm doing a documentary about the uh, 
friend school football team. Uh, do you guys have anything to, to say about that? Do we? Where to start? Where to start? We kind of look like just guys that like screw around and like force around, but during <laughs> practice, like it seems like that emotion like changes a whole lot. Just because we're not the soccer team and all, all like, oh, they give us six backs and oh, play soccer. Like, they think we like football. So. They, we, no, they think football is like easy. Yeah, and it's yeah. just not football easy. Is really hard. Football is the that's toughest easy. sport you can play. Like there's maybe like, besides rugby. Besides rugby. <laughs> but rugby, I don't even, those are crazy Australians. And to be clear, to be clear, we have a, a great amount of admiration for the football team. Oh, they sure. try very oh, hard sure. every day. They're a very competitive group of very hard workers, and we really oh, yeah. do. We really do, and it, the results show the two games. I mean, I was happy we won three this year, and uh, the year before I came, apparently we didn't win any games, so we're only improving. In our freshman year, we won zero games, and that was like my first experience of high school football. I was like, oh, okay, we're just not gonna win. Then <laughs> when we won our first game sophomore year, I was like, wow. I mean, great. It wasn't until like halfway through the season, but I was like, wow, like we can actually win. And then this year, we actually. Uh, it, it seemed like it was all coming together, but then people's bodies just started falling apart. People feel like football players aren't really serious about what we, what we do, and the reason that we don't do well is because we don't work hard, and we don't have a good work ethic. And I, I could think that's far, like couldn't be farther from the truth. Everybody got injured. Yeah. It was like nobody was okay. Yeah. Like Will got concussion. Jack popped the shoulder out. Taylor hurt his ankle. Taylor hurt his ankle. Sean hurt his hip. Dodd popped his shoulder out. We got like eight starters out, and it really, really screwed us over. We ended up losing a lot of games. This, this, this dude played with like a hernia. I don't even know. Yeah, hemorrhoids. <laughs> People always say like, oh, because I'm on the like the soccer team. Like like Tucker said, like I'm really athletic. I'd be good at football. Uh, I came in my senior year, and I didn't make it through three fourths of the season. Um, it's probably the most physically challenging sport I've ever played. I've played lacrosse, soccer, basketball, um, golf. We go through hell when it comes to running, and like it's just torture. But like we do it together, so it brings us together. We have something like a common ground almost. Why do you think that it's the football team and not like another team that gets so like close knit? Because we uh, we like to laugh. We like to laugh at each other. <laughs> Especially Tucker. Tucker laughs at everything. Come here, Tucker. <laughs> Look at him. You're gonna make me laugh. Come on. This is the backup quarterback, ladies. Tucker. I mean, he's kind of a goober, but we all love him. And uh, having him on the team was a nice presence. And I love every one of you on the football team. Although he was just like the kicker and the punter, so he didn't really do a whole lot on the field. Uh, he definitely, I think, was a good a good sort of uh, spirit to have in the locker room. Christian and me had a lot of twerk offs. So we'd shake our butts at each other. Twerking is a big thing in the locker room. Jake, show, show, the, show the audience how to twerk. Uh, you go like this. You go like that, yeah. That's how you do it. That and I don't know. I, I, I like uh, like Christian a lot. And yeah, it's been nice. I've never seen a freshman come in new to a school and be so composed in a huddle and run the run the offensive huddle like he was a senior from day one. In my 11 years playing football, uh, like all 11 have been playing defense, and like three of those years have been playing quarterback. So I'm naturally a defensive player and I hit hard. Think about Christian Spence. He may look small, he plays linebacker, that kid can hit. I've found it Christian because I met him first and then we always would invite him to go to Eddie's with us and he would never go. He'd be he like, we were gonna yeah, we, he thought we were going to be late for our second practice. He'd be like, um, no guys, I, I got my lunch right here. I'm just going to eat here. Also Donovan. Uh, Donovan has always been a great kid. Uh, he's another kid that from his freshman year, you know, was starting and having a big impact. He's a phenomenal athlete. I'll never forget Taylor versus Donovan, because Taylor is perceived as this football god because of the voice we've given him. Taylor versus Donovan. Taylor tried to tackle Donovan, but he didn't get low enough because Taylor's a big dude. And, and Donovan, Donovan, stood, Donovan just him stood him up and kept driving him. Like, you're and too high, was, you're too high. high. And they got, they got a huge fight. They got a you're huge fight. High. Other than that, we're one big guy. How would you describe the family? Like, if, if you guys are a happy family, who's mom and dad, you know? Like, Will and Taylor. 
What's he doing? <laughs> yes. I'd say both Will and I are kind of like almost the parents of the nine year old boy family. <laughs> Will's like that quiet dad who just like sits back. It's like yes. he says things that like actually mean something every once in a while. Taylor's just like that bitchy mom. Sean, I'd say, is in the same boat as Donovan. Very athletic, maybe a different type, more of a bruiser. We were kind of those quiet captains because we weren't seniors or juniors, but we were like one of the best people on the team. What about, um, what about Mike? Mike. Mike. Where do we begin? Let me say something. Let me say something. Mike. Mike is the root of all evil. We don't do it. He just drags us into it. You know, I'm gonna, I'm, a, I'm the center, so you know, I'm, I'm pretty much the, the. General of the offense. He thought was like genius. Hey guys, this is my card. You're trying to spank game the tall bitch. Scram, 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 scram. All on top. Look at him. Look, look, look at him. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that mad game. This guy gets all the ladies. He's doing. Yo, he's trying, he's, trying to do, he's trying to do my move. My move is like this. You know? That's people, a lot of people come to me for advice. They're like, Mike, I need help. And I'd be like, let me help you. And Mike, you know, he says he's the, says yeah, he's the yeah, ladies man. man. I'm kind of like the heartbreaker, you know. I, a lot of girls, they, they're like, oh my god, Mike, I love you. And I'm like, sorry, um, football is my one love. He's that weird, he's that weird uncle that everyone has. Kind of funny, but he's still weird. Tall bitch. The, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Take my jacket off. If you had to blame like one or two people, like they ultimately should take the blame for everything that occurred, who would, who would it be? Like, like. Erica. Erica is this adorable little freshman. She's just where you can tell like she's really innocent. So I feel kind of bad for this whole tall bitch thing. It really started with like the. The seniors just kind of picking on a freshman. Um, I guess I was chosen. This kid, JD, who's a freshman, kind of looks like a little version of Taylor. Some people say he looks like a little version of me, I don't know. But he's Taylor's freshman buddy, and so this year we tried to sort of take him under our wing and explain to him how high school works and like help him out with any problems he had. And tall girl happened to be Chrissy's freshman buddy. One day in practice, she waved at him while we were doing sprints, and we freaked out. Hello, JD! They saw us walking around like school, and I don't know, they would just kind of pick on me. And then it got a little out of hand. What well, was it, got, it? it got way out of hand from there. Your creepy, your favorite creepy uncle Mike just started out. Your yeah. favorite creepy uncle Mike. Making nicknames and stuff. <laughs> and, and, uh, and Tucker yeah. also. Tucker. And Tucker. Tucker, Tucker. Tucker kind of scared the girl. Yeah, no, I totally I, scared the girl. Yeah. I think she's terrified of him now. She is sitting in the trainer's office. Sam Shapiro walks up to her and says, and says, Hey, do you know that the entire football team calls you Paul Bitch? And I'm just sitting there like, First, it was like, we won't call a tall girl or tall bitch or anything in front of them. And then Tucker. And then we, we would make statuses about it. We didn't care. Every year, the football team kind of singles out uh, a freshman girl and a freshman guy. And we try to mash them together. For some reason, he thinks he's the matchmaker. Like, honestly, I don't, I don't see what he sees in himself because it never works. We were trying to set that up, and then we'd be all be talking to JD all the time and be like annoying JD to, to hook up with her or date her or whatever. And eventually, scare her off. One day, JD comes in like, guys, like, tall bitch isn't talking to me anymore. She's like texting me. She won't talk to me in the like the hallways. And that's because and so Tucker that, and everyone on the football team so, so scrutinized so her for being tall. We were definitely just friends, and it was blown way out of proportion. But you know, we it's all in love. We we love you, Erica. We we, we do feel bad, but you know, it's not really us really being with you. It's just kind of like us as a football team, just like messing around. I apologize on behalf of the football team, but yeah. I apologize for my actions. That was yeah, like, I do. I was, I'm more apologize for her getting caught up in all of it. Yeah, I apologize for Tucker. Yeah. Do you think that you guys are still friends at this point? Or? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it's it's blown by. It's blown by. So the, the worst of it's over. I guess that's good. Oh yeah. We're so comfortable with each other that like a joke doesn't like spark anything. It's just like all in good fun. But it's like a family of like 
nine-year-old boys that just <laughs> are crazy. I think, I don't know, I feel like we're the friend school rejects. No, they are very, often very close together. You can tell the groups that, you know, the group of football players in the cafeteria oh, yeah. it's, sit next to each other. It's often. like it's like the frat of friend school, if you will.